Sometimes AutoCAD can be a little confusing when it comes to setting up a viewport scale. What I have uh, right here is a drawing I did of the map of the campus, or the campus that I work on. There's another version as well. What I want is to create a layout for the map that's in the middle, and I want that layout to fit on a D-sized piece of paper. I've already done E, A, B, and C. So I go to D-size, set up my plotter so that it's um, set up for the right plotter for D-size. And then I double click inside, go to zoom, and I'm just going to zoom a window is kind of tight around what I'm looking for. When I get done with that, I look down here and I've got a random, well, some random number, 0. 0.000765. To figure out what would be a logical plot scale for that, I'm going to bring my calculator over and I'm going to divide 1 by 0. 0.000765. That gives me 1300. So I'm going to 1307. So what I'm going to do is create a custom scale. It's a 1 to 1300 scale and use that as a way of having a specific scale on this if I plot it to D size paper. So I'll come over here. I'll go to, well, it turns out I already have one for 1 to 1300, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. If I go to custom, I can add a custom scale. So in this particular case, we'll go. So I've called it something different. The other one was one without a space between the colon uh, and 1300. The name you give uh, the scale you're creating is simply a name. It has nothing to do with anything mathematical. The ratio was established down here where you indicate that one paper space unit is going to be equal to 1300 drawing space units. This particular drawing I do with architectural, so the paper space units and drawing units are the same. I'll say OK click OK and come back out and I'm going to go and select that scale that I just created. You notice it changed just a little bit. If I come back out to paper space I can see it's all going to fit in here so I'll come back over to the viewport and I will lock it. Now I'm also going to add a scale to the map itself. And What I have here is a scale for A size and a scale for E size. So I'm going to add the D size by putting it right here and we'll just copy that bring that down, change it from an A to a D. Now I'm going to figure out what my uh, scale would be in terms of one inch equals how many feet. First of all, I'm going to type 1300. And that 1 to 1300 is my actual viewport scale and my plot scale. I'll do the metric version because that's easy. If you'll notice up here, a 1 to 3700 scale would be 10 millimeters to 37 meters. I didn't use one millimeter because I didn't want to have a, a, a decimal version of the meter. So I know that this is going to also be 10 millimeters to 13 meters. Now 13 meters I'm going to convert to feet because I want to make sure that I can also um, indicate how many uh, feet per inch for the scale. So I'll get my calculator back. Well first we'll put the feet in parentheses. If I've got 13 meters in order to figure out how many feet I have, I have to divide by 0 0.3048, which is the exact conversion factor. 42.6, we'll call it 43. So I'll come over here and indicate for that scale that that's the equivalent of 43 feet. You notice I have approximate written all over the. So in order to figure out how many feet are represented by one inch, what I'm going to do is take the 10 millimeters and the 13 meters and convert 10 millimeters into inches, 13 meters into feet and then reduce that so that it's one inch on one side and uh, the number of feet on the other side. So I'll bring in my calculator. One inch is 25.4 millimeters. I know that. So if I take 10 millimeters, divide by 25.4 millimeters per inch, I get 0 .3937, a bunch of other numbers. I'm just going to add that to my memory so I can pull it back up later. Now in order to, re to convert that number to 1, I'm going to divide by that number. The other side I've got 43 feet, which is the equivalent of 13 meters. So if I take 43 feet and divide by that value, I get 109. So 109 feet is as close as I can come to this. I'm going to just go and put 109 feet in this. feet. So now I have the equivalent scales for 
my A size sheet, sorry, my A size sheet, which I scaled 1 to 3700, my D size sheet, I scaled 1 to 1300, my E size sheet, I scaled 1 to 900, and then the equivalent in terms of 1 inches, 1 inch equals some certain number of feet, 10 millimeters equals a certain number of meters is all set up as well, and that's just because most of the people on our campus aren't familiar with dealing with meters, so give them a little reference.